as with the other forms of the imperative, you can consider the imperative to be as if the prefix of the imperfect were removed. In the case of the hitpa'el, you will recall that for the imperfect, the prefix of the verbal form, the imperfect's prefix, took over the place of the hey. So instead of hit katel, you would have yit katel, etc. With the removal of the yod, the hey reemerges. So hit pael imperatives have the characteristic hit prefix fully visible. The form then of the imperative is hit katel, hit katali, hit katalu, hit katelna. Do be aware that the second masculine singular, the imperative masculine singular, is formally identical to the hit by el perfect third masculine singular. You will need context to help you distinguish which is which.